I wanted to share some signs of caterpillar infestation. Um, I'm kind of having a go with them right now. <laughs> and um, starting, if you notice, all these little poops all over your plants. And if you notice that some of them have been munched on quite a bit, and it's a sure tell sign that there's caterpillar somewhere. So, this is what I find. This plant has been chewed on, and I noticed that this leaf is turned over. And if you inspect the leaf really good, you'll see this kind of web encasing. And there's your caterpillar. In, sorry in the web cocooning and I kill them on site so let's try to find another one while I'm trimming I'm noticing lots and lots of poops and I'm looking for more caterpillars let me open this up and here we go Here's another one. Caterpillar inside the webbed. It looks like it's cocooning. I guess that's specifically what it's doing. And I kill them on site. So I'm just going through all my plants here. Anything that looks chewed on, I'm turning them over, looking for webbing or looking for worms um, or caterpillars. The other day, I probably took out over a dozen of them. Um, you can see they're definitely going to town and since we're a chemical free <laughs> garden here see the little guy everything's being done manually I'm not spraying anything on here I've already released lace wings and ladybugs this season and anything that you're spraying on your plants um, to kill like pests is not going to discriminate against the beneficial bugs too so i'm doing my best to not even spray dish soap out here and just try to identify manually where everything is i'm going to open up another one here sorry about the camera it's hard to do this one-handed there's definitely one in there i'm just going to dispatch it so those are some short tail signs that you have caterpillars in your garden all these little snacked on leaves here and just turn them over. I'm removing them completely. I'm trimming anyway. I've got bees out here pollinating and I want them to be able to find all of my flowers. So I'm trimming back and bam, here's another one dispatched. And there you go. That is how you find caterpillars in your squash. <laughs> turn over every single leaf one by one until none of your leaves look snacked on anymore <laughs> let's see if we have another one under here yep look i'm really noticing that the leaves that are kind of stuck together for no reason um they should not there's no vines or anything that's like holding them together they're just kind of stuck to each other there's usually a caterpillar like cocoon or webbing um, that's doing it. So as you can see, I have a lot of work to do here, but now that I know what their poop looks like and um, certainly what the leaves look like after they've been chowing down, I'm going to go through here, turn over every single leaf, and get rid of as many of these pests by hand as possible.